Hello guys and welcome today. Today we'll talk about problem solving, questions and answers. So let's start our first question. Here it says a train travels from Albany to Syracuse. A distance of 120 miles. So let's highlight first our question. One hundred twenty mile at the average rate of fifty miles per hour. The train then travels back to Albany from Circus. So he's telling us about traveling from Albany to Circus and then the train travels back. The total traveling time of the train is 5 hours and 24 minutes. What was the average rate of speed of the train on the return trip to Albany? So he wants us to calculate the return trip. A. 60 miles per hour. B. 48 miles per hour. C. 40 miles per hour. D. 50 miles per hour. E 35 miles per hour. So let's start to answer this question. The train took 120 miles. Let's start. Try our answer here. Okay, let's choose another more bright. That's great. Okay. So, let's start our answer. The train took 120 miles, right? At the average rate of 50 miles per hour. Over 50 miles. Per hour. As we say, we'll make a cross multiplication. So the total will be two over five hours. So it will be two and a half hours to travel from Albany to Circus. Since the total traveling time of the train was five hours and 24 minutes, so it must have taken the train three hours for the trip from Circus to Albany. Since the distance traveled is 120 miles, the average rate speed of the return trip Albany was make like this one over three hours equal one hundred twenty multiplied by one hundred twenty. So the answer will be. 40 miles per hour so the right answer will be C number two a parking lot charges a flat rate of X dollars for any amount of time up to two hours and one over six x for each hour or fraction of an hour after the first two hours how much does it cost to park for five hours and 15 minutes a 3x b 2x c 1 2 third x 1 and a half x 1 1 over 6 
x. So let's answer this question. It cost x, right? So it cost x dollars and for the first two hours. If you park five hour and 15 minutes, so there was three hours and 15 minutes left after the first two hours since this time is charged at the rate of x over six for each hour or fraction their it cost for X, six. X over six for the last three hours and fifteen minutes. Does the total equal X plus? Four over six X equal one two third X. So the right answer will be C. All right. We have from question three to question five, we have only one table we have to use it. So let's start. He's asking here for the question from what 1950 to 1970. The change in the percentage of university students enrolled in engineering was roughly no change an increase of more than 4%, an increase of more than 1% but less than 4%, a decrease of more than 4%, a decrease of more than 1% but less than 4%. Let's answer this question. First, he's asking about engineering. So here we have the division of engineering at year 1950 and 1970. So this is 1950 and this is 1970. We have at 1950, 820 and 1970, 1,600. And the total of the year 1950 is 4,000. And the total at 1970 is 10,000. So let's start. First, do our calculation by eight hundred twenty over four thousand. Right now, we are looking at 1950. Equal 0.205. The percentage of university students enrolled in engineering in 1950 was 20.5. Five percent. So one thousand six hundred over ten thousand equal. Point 
16.16. So it will be 16% at 19.70. So the percentage of the university students enrolled in engineering was 4.5% less in 1970 than it was in 1950 so the right answer is d a decrease more than four percent next question is asking about the number of students enrolled in business in business in 1970 Divided by the number of business and students in 1950. Almost 3, about 2.5, roughly 2, about 1, about 40%. Let's see the division of business. It's over here. It's looking for year 1970 divided by the number of business students at 1950 so 2500 for it will be two so 500 four Times one thousand call two point five, sorry, it will be two thousand five hundred four. The correct answer would be B, 2.5. That is an easy way to save yourself time. Instead of dividing 990 into 2,504 to find the exact answer, simply use numbers close to the original numbers to get an estimate. In many cases, this gives enough information to answer the question and saves valuable time. Number five, by 1970, how many of the divisions had an enrollment greater than 200% of the enrollment of that division in 1950? And he gives us a number of how many divisions. So, if a division in 1970 has more than 200% of the number of students it had in 1950. That means that the number of students more than doubled between 1950 and 1970. Therefore, simply double each entry in the 1950 column. We'll take all that column and we'll make it double. And then we can easily found the answer. And if this is less than the corresponding entry in the 1970 column, so that division has more than 200% of the number of students it had on 1950. Since two times 990 equal 1980. So, which is less than 2,504, the number of business students more than doubled. Since 2 times 
equal 2420, which is less than 4056. So the money is more than doubled because two times three hundred fifty equals seven hundred, which is less than seven hundred ninety times more than double. Engineering didn't double in size two hundred times 820 so 1640 1640 which is larger than 1600 also since 2 times 630 <laughs> Equal to 1260, so it's more than 1050. Yeah, you so which is larger than 1050? Number of agricultural students. So we found that there are three of the divisions business humanities and sciences more than doubled between 1950 and 1970 so the answer will be D 3 next question will talk about which of the following sets of values for W X y and z respectively are possible if a b c d is parallelogram that is an easy question he gives us three options one 50 130 50 130 number two 60 110 70 120 number 3 60 150 50 150 so the answer is 1 only 2 only 1 and 2 only 1 and 3 only 1 2 and 3 let's see if we are talking about parallelogram so it's easy to know that x equals it so the angle of x will be equal the angle of z and w equal y angle of W be equal the angle of Y so it's easy answer here we can find the same numbers 50 50 130 130 so the right answer will be one only last question we have today it's talking about John weighs twice as much as Marika. Marcia. Marcia's weight is 60% of Bob's weight. Dave weighs 50% of Lee's weight. Lee weighs 190% of John's weight. Which of these five persons weighs the least? So he's looking for the least one. Bob, Dave, John, Lee, Marcia. Let's start. John 
weight twice as much as Marcia. So, John cannot be the least. Marcia's weight is 60% of Bob's weight. So, Bob is not the least. Dave's weight is half of Lee's weight. So, Lee cannot be the least. The only possible answers we have here, it's Dave and Marcia. So, let's take Bob B. I will write it here. Bob B. Dave D. John J. Lee L. Marcia M. So, if I want to answer this question, it will be D equal 0.5 L equal 1.9 J so D equal point Ninety five J since J equal two M so we know that M equal point five J Therefore, Marcia, weightless. So the right answer is Marcia. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our video. Thank you so much. Bye.